match or it. Like I was debating whether I should record it or not because I didn't have mm -hmm. enough. But then it looks yeah, pretty funny. big on yeah. paper. I was I was a joke. All, all men some fun, no criticism. I was surprised that I had a long dream because I'm always amazed when other people oh, have you. all that detail, you know. You had a long dream? Did you bring it in? Or was it no, the last thing? I couldn't believe it that I didn't even record it. Nerd! I'm off in that way. You thought yeah. because it was long it was someone else's dream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the detail I remember. Yeah, the detail. You know, when you sent that thing about croissant, Gina, bring it, to bring it to your house, you know, I didn't share them. And so in my mind, because David didn't want me to, the time I did bring them, mm -hmm. David didn't want me to share them because there was a lot of stuff already on the table. So I ate them. Mm. And therefore, I didn't see myself as having brought them and couldn't relate to what you're talking about. That's, oh, why, I that's why I didn't bring them. Oh, okay. Oh, if I would have, so, yeah, it was pretty crazy. But I could, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> What's the date on this album? This morning. Mm. Wally McZally. Hit the ground running. Want me to do my grammar Nazi thing? No, I don't think so. What did you say? Not a good idea. You either want to say there are, or, but you don't want to say there. Unless you mean there, and you have no verb. But I'm just joking. Sorry, I should have worn my grammar Nazi t-shirt to warn people. Um, there, I meant there. There may be... There? Are maybe? Um, there may be... There then you mean T-H-E-R-E -E apostrophe, apostrophe R-E. There. That's, that was the joke. I'm just joking. But the, there has problems because it has they are it's and a, it has... It's a, it's a way I talk, I think. It's like a, I think it's like a Bosnian thing. Really? Yeah. In English? Uh, in English. You mean yeah. like there? There. Yeah. That's like the there may be two soldiers and I. I oh. think it's an Aussie thing too. It's like a relaxed Maybe grammar. Yeah. So you like have it was there, them. but we've like shortened it or something. They were over there, or but over I'm and over there are two soldiers. There. Oh, anyway, There's I get two it. soldiers over there. Mm. Kind of like that. What's location? We never do dream analysis based on grammar, though, so excuse me. I'm going to go around and ask you, what would be your point of departure for exploring this dream? Or put it another way, what's the problem? Every dream has a problem, right? Where's the problem? Where's the dream? Where, where does it show itself? being in some kind of war. That's one. Mm -hmm. You'd want to know? Uh, what type of war yeah. and uh, why? Why is she fighting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Right. Okay, another? Yeah, he's functioning in two different ways. In the first four paragraphs in the war, he seems to be functioning. If you went through every paragraph and tried to give yourself a grade, I don't, I, I don't know that he'd give himself a grade, but it looks like it's all functioning pretty on a pretty high level. And it's not until the last three paragraphs that this starts to be an issue. 
Ja. Kör han? Um, the his dedication towards his war, even though he's really injured and sounds like he's pretty damaged, and he continues we on. Oh, we have chairs inside. And I'd like to know the state of mind of of, of what he's in to, to keep pursuing that okay. in the dream. Good. Um. <coughs> I was the war thing I liked. The next question I, I would have been curious about is um, <clears throat> uh, when he realized that he was being uh, related to by his commander in that way. Yeah. Why did he stay on that team? But it's hard to um, pull away from the um, uh, reflection afterwards. It seems really anagogic, that way of reflecting on one's drama with family on one side and uh, a different way of thinking on the other. Okay. Um, You're going to go on? Go ahead. Uh, so, either of those two. Okay. Uh, Julia, have you, is it too new for you? Yeah. Okay. And I haven't got anything yet. Okay. I'm still working on it. Okay. For Jeremy? Um, I see he <coughs> shoots one from a distance, then I shoot another one. From the very beginning, I don't know who the enemies are, but he's able to kill him too. But as he's progressing through the dream, he keeps trying, and not it's not effective in the different in succeeding paragraphs. That's one notice I notice. It's nice to notice it. The question is, would that be your point of departure? I will assume that that's what you meant by offering what you just said. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Josh? Well, I'm almost done. Okay. I guess I would like to know, um, <coughs> in the oh, second oh, paragraph... Oh. oh. Before we go into it. Oh, sure. I thought you wanted a point of departure, but I'm okay with that. about the first and the last line. The first line, I'm in some kind of war, and yeah. then the last one with his dad. And the other? The last one with his dad. Okay. <clears throat> Say how, how he Let responds me ask to another that. question, okay? Same question. Uh, what blocks the dreamer from achieving his goal? Mm -hmm. uh, another way of putting it. <clears throat> What keeps him from functioning most excellently? Joe? Um, mm. he seems to be waiting. He seems to be waiting for others to tell him what to do. <coughs> see, see, that's. A lot of these statements are observation. Okay, yeah, yeah. But it's not answering my question. What's your question again? What keeps the dreamer from excellence? What blocks him from being <coughs> excellent? Where is the block? Where is the problem? Now, there are a lot of curious things in every dream, and you can spend your time spinning them and talking about them, hoping to get an answer or to discover the problem. 
but it's better. Well, there's no goal. That doesn't answer the question. Well, I go to the place I want to anticipate where they're going to go, so I shoot two remote control bombs. Okay. And he has done that. He does it in the next paragraph. He misses whatever he's doing. He's not doing as, he's not functioning as he did in the first paragraph. Barbara? Well, I, I actually had the same point okay. for a different reason, but slightly different. Something similar. It seems like um, he is not hitting the mark and continues to not hit the mark uh, and he can't get other people to help him hit the mark. And um, uh, Okay, look. What keeps him from hitting the mark? What keeps him from being excellent? Self-doubt? Self-doubt? Uh, not enough. Say more. Um, basically, uh, <clears throat> he has a feeling of he doesn't want to um, hide. And he's struggling with that, having the commander tell him what to do. So um, he's struggling with basically a, a commander, and he's a, he, in this dream. It sounds like he's a subordinate, um, listening to the commander when he feels that uh, something else is better to do, perhaps. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I like their question about wanting, about the anticipating. Because in the first scenes, he's just acting and he sees them and he sh he's acting on what he sees. And the, the scene where he's throwing the bombs, he's anticipating. And he's not acting on what he sees, he's trying to act on what he thinks he will see. You're, you're in the dream now, come on. You're in the dream. Put yourself in the dream, see. That's me, see, and I'm doing this. See? What the hell is wrong that keeps me from being the most excellent in what I'm doing? Has anybody mentioned yet, um, alternatives to the way of handling the commander? Th that's partially. See, uh, who's, in, in one sense, I can pick up what Dom was mentioning and what you're mentioning. Yeah. Who's the enemy? Mm. Who's well, the enemy in this, in this war? Well, in this case, it looks like one of them, whoever the other enemies are, is the commander because yep. it looks like so one of his own guys. He's got the wrong, he's fighting the wrong war. Or something. I mean, mm. this, they want to kill him. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So he, go somewhere. yeah, he's, and somehow, and, it's, and that goes back to what several of you mentioned, the opening statement, some kind of war. Mm -hmm. What kind of war is it when the officers are right. out to kill him? They're the enemy. Mm -hmm. So hold that. Okay. All right? What keeps him, even though that's true, see, that's worth looking at. If you were going to fight the war exactly the way he was playing it, what would you be upset at? Okay. He might dad calling me. My dad calling me a pussy. Pardon? I'd be upset with my dad calling me that. No, but also not answer. doing my own thing and relying on others, it seems like, to help okay. me. Lack of leadership? Yeah. Uh, why, why the heck am I even risking my life here? Well, that's What's see, this about? Especially, see, you can ask that now that you see, hey, you're in a strange war where your commander is going to kill you or is planning to kill you. But apart from that, what keeps him from being excellent? There's only one thing. Would you agree there's something wrong with what he's using to fight? 
How many episodes in this? There's a faulty, faulty, faulty equipment. Yes or no? Quite a few. Or ineffective, if not faulty. I'm not well, sure. same thing. Oh, they detonate the bombs, but they don't have much of an effect. So, no. it's a question. Yeah, the yeah. equipment doesn't. But that does that well. theme repeat itself? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He shoots, he misses, he shoots, he gets closer, he shoots, he hits, but misses, and it just uh, continually fails. Oh, uh, he's doing equipment. fine, but what's failing? Uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's the equipment. Uh, Why I, not? Well, because the, the first, the first uh, incident, the first incident, um, I misjudged where they're going to go. So, I just put the bombs in the wrong place. They still exploded, fine. Mm. They were just in the wrong place. Okay, one. And then, uh, the next then one... The way you're handling equipment in this struggle, mm -hmm. and the equipment itself, there's something wrong. Well, yeah, the way I'm handling it, I agree, but... I don't see that there's anything wrong with the equipment. I just the first um, uh, the first uh, bomb that I threw it. I just misjudged it. I, I didn't feel confident in the way that I used it. Can I ask a question, Pierre? I press the button to de to detonate the bomb. But they don't have much effect. Because they're in the wrong place. So now I throw another bomb. It falls short. It doesn't affect him at all. How are you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm. With your I'm not equipment. using the equipment properly. Huh? I'm not using the equipment properly. Oh! 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 Uh, it's like I'm getting used to it. It's like I'm getting used to my equipment on the on the fly, on the run. Well, how about the shotgun? Uh, again, I, I missed. <laughs> Something about the equipment and you. How can you miss with a shotgun? Mm -hmm. Right. Take a look. At that distance. He's right in front of me. So you judge, okay, in terms of being a soldier in that war. <coughs> what am I going to ask you in terms of this dream? Right? Then I shoot, I miss, right? It's all study between you and your equipment. Yeah. Uh, it's like I haven't been trained to use it. Oh. <laughs> or, and or the equipment. Is it for, we'll, take, we'll take both. Well, I'm reluctant to fault the equipment. Okay, well. Uh, I mean. Well, you know. Uh, definitely the, not. The bombs don't have much effect. What do you do with that line? Well, once again, I didn't put them in the right place. They were far away from oh, the person. Oh, no, the bombs are okay. It's your, see, yeah. now by reflecting on this, we now see there's a new way to look at the dream. Agree? It's not in the dream. Hmm. But by getting him to recollect it, we see it changes the focus, don't we? Well, we understand the words of the dream right. now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which but the mean? understanding is different than the dream. But what about how he actually does Pardon? hit him with the shotgun? Pardon? Like, I guess I have two questions. Um, the ones that are close, uh, it just knocks him over. So I wonder, maybe not just his aim, maybe the bomb's there. But also, he hits him with the shotgun, and it doesn't stop him. And also, a first shot of a shotgun should probably hit him in that range unless the shotgun was broken. Maybe. All of that is true. 
you're not pursuing the question. Now look here. Therefore, what questions would you ask the dreamer, given what we're now seeing, that we can reorganize the dream, keeping it the way it is, and seeing another level? What would you want to know? Well, like, what do I think of the fact that I'm fighting in a war where I'm not trained? One. Um, and with the officers against you? Right. The officers against me. Uh, and uh, friends would, and family that hurt you. <laughs> would you want to know what it's like when you're when you repeatedly <laughs> finish it? Um, fail to fulfill your task as a soldier? Is there anything here? Can you pick out something where where you realize your efforts failed? There's a whole bunch of them, aren't there? Yeah, it it's um it starts it no, starts no. when I'm yeah just for a moment. Okay. They were still talking about a question. Okay. Okay. If you see that, then would you look for where it might appear more significant than at other times? Yeah. Right. Hmm. So then that re then you're now focusing in a different way on the dream, aren't you? Now you're looking for where it would be more critical. Agree? Yeah, it's like a more specific. Right. right. I, I have a way of searching. Yeah. For something. Yeah. 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 What line would you pick on now? Starts, it starts in uh, the, the f at the end of the third paragraph. It starts um, where it says, "So now I throw another bomb." Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it starts to slip out of my hands at that point. Well, actually, maybe even a bit earlier, when I misjudged where the soldiers were gonna gonna be. Then our question would be in the dream: What is it like at that moment, realizing that failure? Hmm. Well, at first, it's like I was on top of things. I was on top of everything, and it was going well. But then, uh, after the meeting with the commander, it just, um, it was like, like I'm, I'm um, losing hold of the reins. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like... Uh, is that the weather? <laughs> uh, well, what does that mean? It's what is it like? I'm losing hold of the range. What, what, could you describe that state in the dream? It's like really... It's really like sad and tragic. Mm. It's... Uh, Okay, now I want to ask you a question in terms of the drama of the dream. Yeah. Experiencing that, what effect does that have on you in the rest of the dream and all the things you went through? I, I, I'm like a, I'm like a lesser version of myself. Mm. I'm deflated. Mm. Uh, so then that point is kind of important to explore then, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what would you follow it up with and ask? Uh, is, 
this is a familiar state of mind. Yeah, yeah. But first, can you say more about it? Because I, I, it's a rather curious state of mind, isn't it? Because you lose, you lose all of that presence of excellence because of something. And, uh, right. I lose the focus. And right. You lose your focus more. What's that like in the dream? It feels like powerless and uh, powerless. Does it hit you physically anywhere? That state? It kind of like makes my chest go inwards, hmm. like the opposite of a, of a good posture. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's... Is, is that similar to the, to the uh, wounds you suffered in the Bible, remember? The way you yeah. described it. It is actually, yeah. Ah, ah I see. It. And it's picking it up, isn't it, in the dream? Yeah, that's like the extreme version of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when did you experience that state? Shrinking. Yeah, shrinking is a good word for it. Kind of pathetic in a way. Like I feel, I feel pathetic when I'm in that state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, uh, you're familiar with that in your life, aren't you? Or would you say, no, no, it's the first time I have ever experienced that state? Well, this is a big one. It's not the first time, but it seems like it's... Um, at this point, it seems so general mm -hmm. that it's like... In some sense, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's interesting that we want to see, uh, what's the significance of the encounter with the officer that triggered that state of mind? Mm. Like, now that you look at it, what ideally should you have said it? Asked, said, wondered about? doesn't appear with the commander, but no, no. afterwards. But, but is that right the consequence up. of it, is now we're raising? Mm, that's, that's, a, that's the question, yeah. Mm. state of mind with you that diminishes your capacity to function most ideally? It's, uh, it's 
It's hard to remember. <laughs> you don't have to fish for it. If it's not there, it's not, not there. Did you put in word to the commander what you saw at the end of the first paragraph? As far as you know. At the end of the first paragraph? I think. Where it says, no, sorry. Where you say, uh, second paragraph. Where it says, if I had gone where he wanted me to, I would have died. Did you communicate no, that? No, that, that was, that was uh, no, that was my conclusion afterwards. Afterwards, because I later I saw that there were soldiers there, and I would have. Been sure, sure, destroyed. sure. Okay. That was actually, I saw that later. Uh, if I had that that statement uh, should really be further down in the dream, because mm. I. I realized it later in the dream after mm. I saw what happened. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So therefore we still want to know what was his life when you walked away after encountering that officer. I, I don't remember. I I mean it well, you said right well, the reason why, because it looks like uh, I taunt and make fun of him. The brain. Right. Yeah. So. Looks like there's something happening. Dream. Mm. See, the reason this is important, if there is a relationship between the two then we have another way of seeing that state of mind that you described a short while away, a short time ago, and can connect it with an event, with an authority. Then we can make that exploration, but it, unless that's nailed down, it's not fair to push it. So he has to direct us, the dreamer, dream watcher. My, my problem is that this uh, second paragraph I recorded very last. It's like I recorded the dream and then I recorded another little bit and another little bit. There was three recordings and this was the last piece of recording. So I have the least memory of this. Um. But what was it like have making fun of him and taunting him in the dream? Well, it was kind of like, fuck you. It was like... Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know, like, like you thought, uh, I don't agree. I don't want <coughs> to add anything to it that wasn't there. See, what I'd like to know is, when was the last time you told someone to fuck off? Hmm? And what did it do to you to do it? That's the issue, see. So. Hmm. Mm. Taunt him, make fun of him. He's going to get you killed. He wants to get you killed. And we're asking, what state of mind is present at those moments? And you're saying, well, I don't have any state of mind. So we can't go any further. We, just, we have to leave that. Okay, so that's just a separate episode. You have no state of mind associated with that that you can consider. Yeah. Right? That's good. Okay, then that's an event. We can judge it. By the way, who did he look like? Good. Thank you. Well, I can remember that he was 
very authoritative. Uh, you should do this. It's very, very vague. Uh, could you compare him just for the moment? Is there any relationship between the way he appears and acts and the way your father does at the end of the dream? Uh, would you say he was very comforting and uh, helping you, or what? Seems like he may have just been a commander. I mean, just no, what stern. Did, and what did it do to you when he said what he said to you? My dad. Yeah. Oh, uh, my dad. Yeah, that was. Uh, I can re remember that. That was. Uh, Come on, you really. That was really like. You really look like a pussy now. Yeah. Uh, that's very helpful. I mean, that's a nice no. thing to say to a guy, isn't it? No, it was, it was really... Because pussy is a kitten, isn't it? Is that a, <laughs> no? It was... Actually, that's a really... Um, it's kind of like the worst thing he can say to me. It's oh. really well, talking uh, down how, at how, me. How did he say it? Humorously? Or authoritatively? Did he know he hey, you? Now, see the use of the word now? That quote? It's a, it's a really uh, matter of fact, as if he's talking about reality. Like, this is it. Like, this is what it is. How does that compare with the commander? This is it. Is that the same thing? It may be the same, but I really don't. I don't I, remember. That, I, yeah. The only push it to us. I really don't. Then we can take that as a separate episode. That's all. That's just your decision, not no one else's. But the the feeling I had after uh, my dad said that yeah. was exactly the state that I was describing earlier. Oh, mm. oh. Well, what does that suggest to you? Well, I'm really taking on uh, what he said and, like, agreeing with him. Yeah. But agreeing or agreeing with him? Uh, yeah. Not now, but no, in, in the, the dream. In the dream. Yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, and you're saying, yeah, I feel like that. Hmm. Yeah. And he laughs. There's a, but there's a strange little, like a little delay. After he says that, it's like, I recognize that this is something he does, but then I go along with it. Like there's a little uh, there's a little gap there, which I which I find interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Recalling the dream, um, it's not it doesn't hit me immediately. It's almost as if maybe I have the choice. Whether it hits me or not. It, it looks like it's somewhat similar with the officer. In that I have a choice, yeah? I mean. Yeah. Maybe I chose the right thing up here, but the wrong thing down here. But somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, see, now, we were trying to connect, right? Asking whether or not there is a possible connection between the officer and your father, weren't we? Mm -hmm. 
So now we can make a judgment about that. We can put it aside or continue it with the state of mind. But you said the state of mind there is very similar to the state that you experienced during the battle. Yeah. Um, so that's the key, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a group. It's like uh, that state of mind starts very. Not, it's not very strong. It's not very strong at the beginning, <coughs> but then it gets progressively more and more yeah. uh, until when I'm doing this with my body, and then maybe with my dad, it's the strongest. With my dad, it's the strongest. Yeah, it's stronger. So the whole thing is building. Is that right? You're, the way you're seeing it now, and uh, yeah. Oh. So that way of it going along with your father is showing a, a growth in that state of mind. Uh, I think that's what you said, is that right? Yeah. 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 What do you make of that? That feeling of, yeah. of being... being helpless. Yeah. Ideally then, what would have been nice to say both to your father and the officer, now that you look at it this way? Oh, <laughs> hey, Robin. Uh, well, to my father, like the worst thing to say hmm? yep. to your son. Yep. <coughs> so what are you going to tell him? Uh, <coughs> what? Like I would ask him, why are you doing something like this mm. to your son? Yeah. Why are you putting me down? Yeah. In the worst way. Yeah, because it, the officer's going to put you down. He's going to kill you the worst way. <laughs> right, but you reject that, but it looks like then that state of mind builds up into the end, most dramatically with your father. And now you see what you should have said. What would it take to say that? And how would it change things? The, the easy the easy answer is with the commander it it would um, like I would say like why would you do that when I'm on your team same thing I'm on your team yeah. and then I might not even have to go through all of this yeah yeah but, but that may have been a way to avoid all of that you're saying right ah but the hard question is what would it do with my dad? Uh, no, no. That's not a hard question. You know why? <coughs> why? It's not in your domain. It's what? It's not in your domain to do anything about what effect it's going to have on him. That's going to be his problem. Hmm. You have oh, to no, no, I'm, I'm not... I don't mean that. I'm no. just saying... Uh, Um, there, there was there was one time when I called my dad. Oh, good. On what this happened? kind of thing. Yeah. It was. Um, How old were you? 
I think I was... Six or seven. Eight. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Maybe seven. Okay, go ahead. Um, he was... He was beating me up. And, like, I was, um... I was on the... I was on the kitchen floor. And while he was beating me, I... I was, I kind of shouted out, like, if you, I said, if, if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna beat me, then why did you birth me? Mm. I said to him. Mm. Um, and then when I said that, he, he kind of like, he, he stopped for a moment and there was like, there was kind of like a recognition and he, like, it's like he was sane. He was sane for a moment. <laughs> but then he went back into it okay. and he went, he beat me even harder. Mm. Mm. Maybe harder than he did before. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely harder than he did before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that taught you something, didn't it? For giving that kind of an answer. Answering him, command, right? putting him on the spot. He even beat you more. It's it's exactly the same situation because he's, I mean, by calling by beating me up, he's calling me. Mm -hmm. He's calling me a pussy. Yeah. it's like the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, See, the question is, when you were seven and he pulled that stunt on you, did that end that, from that point on? Any more challenging your father? Did you therefore finish it? I think it did end challenging him on that level. Yeah. Uh, I challenged him for other things yeah, all the time. Not on but, that level. But not on this level. <laughs> so it, would you, looks like it's important to you to challenge on that level. On that level, yeah. yeah. Is that right? Well, wh another thing that yeah. comes to mind is uh, I I dislocated my shoulder playing basketball um, maybe ten years ago, and. Um, I was in I was in the hospital, and my my dad came to the hospital, and then um, which is interesting that he would give me attention at those times, the way he did. But um, uh, I, I told him I told him about what happened that mm -hmm. day. I was telling him it's funny that I dislocated my shoulder because. Just that day when I was walking to basketball, I was looking in the um, I was looking in the window in the sh window shops shop windows, mm -hmm. uh, and I was looking at my reflection, and I noticed that I had gotten pretty muscular, and, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've gotten stronger, and I felt really good about myself. Mm -hmm. I'm, so I'm telling my dad this. Mm -hmm. And then later, I play basketball, and then I dislocated my shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then he said to me, "Well, see, you should never think that you're high and mighty." <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens. That's what happens when you think uh, highly of yourself. You think you're high and mighty. Yeah. 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 By the way, do you know why he would beat you up when you were seven? Because he's a coward. What? Because he's a coward. I mean, the reasons for those beatings were never... Of course. But that's why I'm pushing it. Is it possible that you may have looked? Oh. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's very possible. I mean, I've been thinking about, thinking about it recently. What 
caused the, the, all those beatings. Mm. Uh, <coughs> and I think it was always some kind of um, display of my yeah. Yeah. mind. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that, you know, it'd real, real be fun if you had it in the dream, whether or not that same state of mind may have precipitated the officer deciding to kill you off. Oh, yeah. Well, I was doing very well. Oh, you were? Just yeah. before. Oh. Seems to fit. I didn't really, it, I mean, considering, con actually, I did really well <laughs> ah. at the beginning, oh, and considering good. how well I did, there was no need for a meeting, Yeah. and especially not to tell me to hide, Yeah. since I was, like, killing everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're doing well again. Yeah. That looks like he's functioning similar to uh, my dad. Yeah. Looks like you have to go back when you were seven years old, huh? Pick it up from where you left it off. Call people on it. Why do you think you're having this trip now? I feel like I'm on a, on a, on kind of a, a verge of, um, yeah. yeah, on everything that I want to do is like, I just need to take a step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then I'll be in it. Yeah. And yeah. this is the, the kind of pervading state of mind, yeah. which yeah. is, yeah. it's rather important, I think. everything. Good for you. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you have to put the question to yourself when you're looking at a dream, right? Like, what the hell is going on? You know, like, where's the problem? What might I ask? To see, the, it took a search. I, I didn't have all of that. I quit following leads. It's because it's intelligible. So you have to match the intelligibility. Ah. Thank you, Dave. Ah. Start by talking about the weapons in order to elicit information about. Well, I just wonder oh. about because it seemed like when I was looking at it, it looked to me. I wondered if the problem had started with the officer, and hence my question about um, whether he had put in words to the officer the point, and he said no, he didn't see that point actually till later in the dream. Well. If That's he'd right. seen it earlier and not put it in words, That's right. then it would have meant his aim was off right. in what he articulated, the taunting, the fuck mm -hmm. off, fuck you, whatever it was. So, um, and it just seemed like building from the idea of, oh, it must be the weapons, oh, it must be the weapons, no, right? Put him Let in. him to articulate, forced him in a way to articulate, right? right? right. And then enabled the state of mind to emerge uh, more to him so That's he right. could reflect. That's right. right. So it looked like a yeah. kind of a strategy yeah. to uh, mm -hmm. allow and uh, settle yeah. what state to emerge. <clears throat> That's right. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's a very strong state of mind. Oh, yeah. 
when we were exploring it, at one point I really, I felt it. Mm. Well, you could watch your body language. It would be funny if you ever watched right. the tape, because sometimes you would go in and... Yeah, I, I'm, I was aware of it as well. Yeah. And then when I'm, it's time to answer the about the good state of mind, I'm like... Aha! <laughs> 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 They're doing well. Uh, uh, would you finish that thought? It's a very um, concaving kind of state concaving, of mind. Concaving, yeah. It's like, it's like my, myself is... Yeah. And you were saying that you experienced that stage while we were talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very strongly. Yeah. See, at that moment, that's the key to focus on for the past. Mm. I was very scared to to stay in that state. Sure. That's also part of it. Yeah. Absolutely. And to so you get overcame it in our discussion. Good. And then to explore it, mm -hmm. the prospect, when I was in that state, the prospect of exploring that state was, um, made the state stronger. Yes. Mm. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Seems to write something. It's, it's like the, it's defending itself. Yes, 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 yes. It has its own dynamics, that's right. It as it were, it defends itself, yeah. yeah. So, so do I have to go into that state to, to get rid of it? Uh, <coughs> well, see that, that, <coughs> uh, there's nothing so far that that allows a conclusion so far. Uh, it may be that this is sufficient unto itself to drop it away. You won't know <clears throat> until you find yourself in a similar scene so that you can then confirm what it is you're seeing. That always has to happen, you see. What do you mean by that? Hmm? Confirm what you're seeing? Yeah. Did, I mean, and I mean, I, I understand, I've heard that for years, but what do you mean exactly? Like, so he goes back into a scene, he starts functioning well again, and then nothing happens, and then boom, it's clear, so therefore I've confirmed my seeing was clear, or the state of mind comes up again, and he nails it and says, no, I know that state, that's not real. That's not really me. I have power. I have ability. I have functioning. So I'm always confused what you mean by confirm what you see. Could you say say more? Or? See, you don't know what else might block that that excellence emerging, unless unless he goes back to it and, and discovers it. There may be a, a problem. There may not be. So you and. Just say, hey, watch, it'll come up. He's identified it as something that's present with him. Mm -hmm. He realizes he's now becoming, as it were, more excellent in what he's doing. Therefore, this is a reminder of an old problem. It looks like he's better dealing with it. He might be better, might be better dealing with it through this discussion. We don't know. Therefore, hey, you're going to have a good time soon. It should be interesting. I think that's both, isn't it? I, I was wondering. <laughs> uh, I, I, was, I tried to understand what he said, actually, so I, I didn't really understand. Because I didn't, he didn't answer the options that I gave him. And so he offered something else I'm still kind of trying to comprehend. I thought the last one that he gave was definitely an answer. And the first one, I thought both were answered. But um, that uh, if he tries to achieve excellence, 
he may encounter the same state of mind in the same way, mm -hmm. and it may block him. And therefore, he hasn't he hasn't gotten at the root of it. Doesn't isn't yet free of it. Or he may experience that it's to a lesser degree, right? Or he may not experience it. Right. And those are those the two up. options that you named? He sounded to me like I didn't hear options. him saying that he saw the state and identified it, and then he said this is bullshit and this is a lie. This isn't really happening. And then was free from it. I didn't hear that one, but I did hear. To well, me, that, it sounded like the way you described it was that this that thing would come up. Yeah, that was the first one. Or and the second one? Or something else would come up. Or? Something not, but not, not this you don't state, think but something else. <clears throat> Maybe not this state of mind comes up, but something new comes up. No, no, up. I heard that. All, yeah. the, all this exploration may be enough for it to solve the, the problem. Right? And therefore it won't come up. Is that the conclusion? Um, I don't know if it won't come up, but it won't block me from my goal. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it names it then. That's right. the naming one. So I see <coughs> it. I call it what If it everything is. we've come to is true, uh, what's the nature of a dream? Uh, other than providential guidance. Right? I mean, would you agree there's a hell of a lot of art? in the crafting of that dream? Oh, yeah. Fine. Uh, artistic. Equally, all the parts. Oh, yeah. And the crescendo. Yeah. So it's really clear, yeah. even, even though... I, I watched the movie the other day, and it was nowhere near as, as good as this. <laughs> 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 That's your own movie, right? Yeah. You're, you're the... Hey, you're the only one in the audience, right? The whole thing is for you, right? All that, how much intelligence must be behind the, the crafting of that dream? And how much must the dream master know about you to be able to craft that so that it fits an, an important event in his psychic life? Right? Wow. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a very, I always find it very comforting. To think. To think that I have such a friend yeah. as the Dream Master. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you're going to take your question again, right? Because you didn't get an answer to something because you didn't think Pierre heard you. <laughs> so why don't you say it? Josh. Yeah. <laughs> You, you you made a question, he didn't respond to it, Julie said, I don't think he heard you. Was it for Pierre or Elder? No, Pierre has has nothing to do with the discussion, oh. and mm -hmm. I don't think that you're seeing my state clearly. No, no, I wasn't looking at your state. I was looking at the fact that you did sit, make a comment he to asked, Pierre. what is the nature of Providence? I gave an answer he, that wasn't very audible. I don't think Pierre was looking for an answer so much as to get us to wonder about it, because he started to provide an answer of artistic and creative and the level of intelligence. What's the nature of a dream, I think, is what he asked. Is it, is, rather than what's the nature of providence. Okay. Providence was your answer. What is the nature right? of the dream? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and so and okay. I, was, I was completely fine okay. with what happened in, in the talk okay. and, in fact, didn't need it. I didn't have a question for him. So, yeah. <clears throat> Here, I, I wanted There's to that, ask, I like, <laughs> so when you ask the Eldor to visit a scene with his, <coughs> when he's six, seven years old, um, do we, <coughs> do we go in there with kind of a battle, or what, how do we go in preparation-wise to, to look, because we can get into that state again. Straight. What, what's it? No expectation, play it the way you most ideally want to play it. Then you'll see what happens. You mean as like I'm an observer, or you don't have to rehearse a thing. If you're asking what state of mind should you be in when you confront a scene in the future similar to the dynamics that we just unfolded, mm -hmm. the answer is it's all yours. Play it as straight as you can. That's all. Because then, you see, if you're doing your best 
It's actually, it's a moment that strange word becomes important, sincerity. So at that moment, you want to be sincere and straightforward to see what develops. Mm. That's all. No advice. Advice is bullshit. Well, then you truly have to hold on to not knowing. Sure. Right. That, that is a state of not knowing. Like, but resting content in it and go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Be okay for right. Yeah. Mm. Curious stuff, is it not? Well, I've done it, so I understand. But yeah. it is curious. Yeah. And you have to leave it in their court. And you can't control what they're feeling, what they're going to say. But you say what's in your heart, yeah. what's on your mind, and it frees you. Yeah. You get that freeing feeling because at least you've said what you need to say and whatever he feels that's on him that's on him you're talking about the father if he were to talk to him eventually so who's got another one got another one anyone got one so thank you for sharing it fun <laughs> Good. I'm glad I answered it so quickly. <laughs> Looks like you had another direction. Do you have another direction, Pierre? For what? For the discussion. Well, I have been offering it at this point, which is to talk about the nature of a dream and the origin and what you must assume about the origin of the dream. Okay. It's always so, so like, subtle. It, it, or it seems that way. Yeah. Like, when I, hmm? whenever I record these dreams, it's, it's always it's in a state of, uh, what the hell, I'll just record it. Even if it may not be worth anything. Like, <laughs> that's true. That, some, that's absolutely true. Like for some reason, like <laughs> no, I, I never would have. Because it seems so natural. Right. I never would have like. Like I, I never wake up and record a dream thinking, oh, this kind of discussion is going to follow from this dream. Oh, like, you know, like it's yeah. it's always so like seed-like, and you don't. I, I never see. I can never predict what I, what what I'm gonna get out of a dream exploration. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And it's always something that's very undetected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that I didn't even like. I know I need to look at my life and what's going on. I know that. I have some blocks going on, but like I don't, I don't see any way I could point a finger at something mm -hmm. and without this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's what Pierre of, used to say that a dream brings up a problem that we <clears throat> wouldn't ourselves identify, right, as a problem. That's equally true. Good right. point. Yeah. Right. Could I bring up a totally pragmatic question, which is, I have a very nice IKEA sofa bed in great condition. Almost never used. If anybody would like it, contact me. Wow. Freebie. <laughs> you want a sofa bed? Wow. Okay. It's yours. No. I'll figure out some way to get it. Huh? I thought you were going to offer it. Offer? The I very thought. thing you're putting forward. I am. Go ahead. No, 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 I'm sorry. It was a practical question, Pierre. I have a really beautiful sofa bed that I don't want in my, in my, in my, in my living room. And it, it's a really great piece of furniture. So before everybody drifted away, I just wanted to make a Noetic Society public service announcement, which is if you want a sofa bed, we'll figure out some way to get it to you. It's just a sofa, it's a sofa yeah, bed. That's, you know, that's, that's that's might be important for someone. To that, yeah. um, you know, sometimes... I do this, I've been doing this more lately. I wake up and I know I had a dream, 
then I diminish it. I say, oh, it's mm -hmm. not important, mm -hmm. or anything from you. Mm -hmm. What? I said, anything from you that's good isn't important. What? <laughs> I said, from what you said last night, anything that's good from you isn't important. Do you remember saying that? That anything good from me last night is not important? Do you recall no, that? No, I don't. Well, Regina is reminding you about something you forgot. Okay. What do you think of it? I don't recall the context of it. I don't quite, I can't quite appreciate it until, well. It was part of your dream. I thought it was that when the guy showed you and was appreciative of mm -hmm. your st of your question, mm -hmm. although you saw it, it was important. He, it was after. He appreciated what, and you didn't go further with it. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see the conclusion that anything good for me was there for. Was it a good question? Or was it important to ask him? Mm -hmm. Did he show that importance to himself? Mm -hmm. Would you say that was good? Mm -hmm. And it came from you? Mm -hmm. And how did you relate to it? I don't know. I didn't follow up on it. But Take all of what you just said and, and ask yourself, how do you relate to dreams when you wake up in the morning? Which was my next question. Right. Do you follow up on your dreams? Is that what you were just saying? No, I was saying something else. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was saying that um, it's like when I have to remind myself and sometimes having having like at hand a reminder for myself to counteract that initial wanting to dismiss it yeah. so um, I'll spend time though like I'll, I'll dismiss it and say oh it's probably not important, or I can figure it out myself right now. Right. So I'll lay there and I'll repeat it to myself, and of course I fall asleep, <laughs> or you know. But it's like an antidote to that is to have another statement to, to bring to mind to say, no, this is my guidance or my source of guidance or something. Yeah. And it was something you had just said that um, I thought, mm. oh, that's what I need to keep in mind to counteract that initial dismissal that I do. So, um... We can paint it on your ceiling. What was it you <laughs> said? Do you remember? You, you, you mean... Oh, the, I just said about... You mean that um, the dream gives us something that we never thought was going to be a problem? Right. The, the dream points us to something that... Right. Because, see, I, I, I have this kind of like, oh, I already know that, or, you know, a kind of a, like, oh, this is nothing new. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, it's it's really a disastrous. Pierre, so it changed. would you characterize what changed? the nature of the problems? that Remember you said there was a shift when you what? moved from all midwifery to dream work? And you said that it was surf, uh, and I just wondered if you would put in words what you were seeing when you said that a different kind of problem that we ourselves, like we would all walk in, there are those norms for midwifery, right? You go in and you say, you know, every time I try to do, I try to play cello, I, I do this and I do this and it happens. And every time, I'm, same thing, philosophy, it's everywhere, right? That we used to identify certain characteristics that midwifery problems had, and we'd walk in and make a statement about them, right? But Pierre said that there was a certain point at which he saw that identifying problems that we think we have is not as fundamental as getting a problem from a dream. Right. Because, because it will surface something you're not aware of. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I always see a midwife talk is the limitation of our vision. And in fact, usually the statement of our problem contains our problem within it. 
And so we can't actually get out of our own problem by exploring the statement of our problem within it. Whereas the dream shows us what we don't know. It shows us what, what we don't know that we don't know. It reveals that, that kind of ignorance. Because how could, I, like, I want to learn. I want to be an open mind. I want to experience all the beauty that we see in philosophy and experience when meditating. Uh, I know I have blocks. How am I supposed to discover those blocks that I don't even know I don't have? You know? Right. <laughs> like, it's a wonder to me. As, and, and, I mean, so, I mean, basically either, and I would think maybe daydreams would be the, the waking participation of that. <clears throat> or I have to wait till I fall asleep and I have a dream. Yeah. You know, like, how can you, how do you learn to uh, illuminate that thing which you don't even know you don't know? It's, it's a real question to me. Go for broke. Yep. Go for broke. Set the highest goal in your mind. Envision the possible, best, best possible. The one that challenges you, as and right, the most intellectual, spiritual, aesthetic experience. Go for it. That's all. That's why philosophy is so important. And then, right. and dreams. <laughs> because the goal, <laughs> the goal is transcendental experiences, spiritual experiences that are meaningful, which you can then reflect upon and gain a higher vision of what everything is. Oh, yeah. you know, like, <clears throat> why does Plato... In, in, in the Republic again and again he doesn't say <clears throat> gotta go for the good he says no 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 gotta go for the idea of the good which is a brilliant light of being that's what he said hey go for that that's most important and he knows it isn't Because it, that kind of experience culminates a whole psychic ex exploration, such as we're engaged in. And so what? Mm -hmm. He said, "Hey, you know what? You can't be a can't really be a philosopher king unless you've had that kind of experience." Oh well, yeah, why? Because it's only in that experience that you, you realize that beauty and justice, all of the great virtues, are inherent in that experience of the luminous light of being or divine luminosity. So what? He says, hey, something emerges from that. An excellence, a true excellence emerges out of that, which is seeing, a different way of seeing a higher mode of seeing, which he calls entrance into the use of the intellect. Enter into the use of the youth. Yeah. Is there anything that stands in your way? Like they say that the philosopher is always in contemplation of the bright shining pattern, yeah. which I take to be yeah. the brilliant light of being. Yeah and always in contemplation and lays down laws of the beautiful, the just, and the good or keeps that, preserves that, right? One of those two functions. So I take that to be what you were just saying about, talking about, that you see, he would see in that experience the, what, how beauty, justice, and good are related in one way no. and how they express themselves. But <laughs> this is going to sound like a, <clears throat> does that mean though, that you can stay in contemplation of that brilliant light of being in your daily life? No. So when they say always in contemplation, that has a different significance. Or does it mean when you're making the laws? Well, you're he, <clears throat> uh, he makes a remarkable statement, which is uh, the ability to be able to access it. Hmm. is the goal. 
not really? just experiences. Okay, where does he say that? Or how how does what how does he defend that position? Or what how does he reason that to that? Where does he say it? By the way, if I speak too quickly, just call me on it. Sometimes it's a <laughs> quote that I love and I just go you know. So go ahead. What did you just do? Um, well, I was just I felt like I was beginning to do what I sometimes do, which is speak very quickly and go da 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 and But you weren't doing da 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 Okay. All right. So you were saying that what's important is to be able to access it. Yes. And I was asking you, what is the what reason does it give that that's what's important? Oh, because the see anybody's view of justice temperance, any of these so-called virtues, mm -hmm. they're all fictions. No one can really experience it truly oh. without that experience. Go, oh, gotcha. Why? He says, all of these so-called virtues, they're just coins by which we exchange one for the other. Yes. There's only one thing at work, wisdom. Wisdom, that's right. That's Fido. Yeah. Fido. Yeah, but we'll go back says, to the question. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. So, the, well, in that dialogue, the philosopher is the one who can separate the soul from the body and, no. and collect himself together, yeah. and in that state, outside of the body collected together, yeah. that's where he has the state of wisdom, is it? That's true. Okay. That's different, however, that, see, that's a, an experience. Yes. Okay. The Republic, he's urging people to be able to access that at will. At will? Yeah, that's astonishing, sir. Remember he says that they should go down in the cave again after they've experienced it? And when they descend into the cave, then yeah. after their eyes adjust, they'll be able to see ten times better because they'll, they'll actually know the things of which the people are talking about. He's trying... They have to remember that state when they're in their everyday life so that they don't fall prey to the images of it and they remember the real thing. He encourages then the philosopher kings to set down laws and interact with those people in the cave that are lost about those images. So it becomes a, a, it becomes a model for them to, to function through. Yeah, I'm not with sure that, that makes the point I was asking about, so which is why is <coughs> the ability to access it important. You're talking about what you do consequently to it. Would that, would that be accessing oh, oh, oh. it? Uh, what, he's, what he goes on, though, to say is that the person who does gain that experience, then in returning to the cave, he now recognizes the images that have been seen, and he knows what they are truly images of. Yes. Right? So does he describe what it, would that be accessing then at when you're doing that, seeing what those images are, truly images, when you're seeing that they are images and that they are images of something that he just saw himself, would that be accessing? I, I, I'll, I'll take your question in a different way, okay? By the way, <clears throat> did analysis that we just went through bring you to see something in a new way in the dream that our colleague shared? Yes. Then a certain kind of analysis made clear a level of thought that you did not see when you read the dream that means now you're able to see the images in the dream and know what they are images of. Right. Mm. True. Nice. That's what he's talking about. Only, <clears throat> right? So you're saying, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. So the analysis then is how, is accessing that. This kind of analysis. This kind of analysis holds you to continue to have access. Yeah. And the study of dreams is exercising that, uh, that ability. Oh. 
becoming more and more proficient in it, that way of seeing, you can now, you'll be able to see it in other arenas independent of dream work. So is that using the logos to access truth? Yes. What was it? Is that using the logos to access or touch truth? Yes. Because... Is, is that what just happened? That now, analysis, yes. Okay. There may... Now watch, this is... <clears throat> There may be an anagogic side to the dream that we didn't touch. I would say the first paragraph. But... Well, go ahead. Go ahead? Well, show it. Well, he described his state, state of mind very positively. And you could explore deeper what that state of mind was. Pardon me. You were making a claim, and I said, good, please demonstrate it. That is, that you could take the first paragraph and treat it anagogically. Anagogically means, of course, on a higher spiritual level. Right. Okay, so I was inviting you to do to, to it. If you're up to it. I, I'm not... Well, I don't... Uh, <clears throat> somebody In describing the first paragraph, describe your state of mind. I, uh, in some kind, you described it very powerfully before. There may be two other soldiers and we're, we're in a kind of warehouse sneaking around looking for the enemies. I come across one or two of them. I shoot one from a distance, then I shoot another. Um, your state of mind is? It's like um, uh, I, I don't know if you've ever play the video game, the, sh the shooting video game, but it's exactly like that. It's just like I'm using a mouse to click, click, to kill two people. It's just like immediate and uh, clear and focused and effortless. And, uh, powerful and easy. So that state of mind could be described like uh, something you may be experiencing when? Um, on a high, on a high level. Is that fair? <laughs> I don't know if that's fair to point him in that direction. I thought he said it was like playing a video game. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, I can point to it in different places. Probably the highest would be if I'm engaged in a, in a dialogue and I'm I mean, let's take the, the video game example, because that's, I have done that in the, in the past. And it's well, I'm thinking more on... It's a, high, it's a high state, though, even though it's just a video game. It's, it's, um, well, as I understand anagogic, it would mean that it would be maybe something that you're playing with. Uh, in terms of the, I, and I'm just guessing this, in terms of, say, the ideas in, in the, you read books... Are there any Sorry. books that you read that are really you want to master or you're, you're interested in or you've been working on? Uh, yeah. Sure. Look. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do you have a couple of examples that you could share with us that you could show how to take a dream anagogically and then use those principles? in the case of this dream in front of us? Not right off. 
But I was thinking that... See, that, that's what would be required. Could you look at it like... Right, like... Yes. We... Could you look at the... Well... Do you remember... Uh, what was that guy's name? Jeff? Jeff? Chad? Jeff. Yeah. Jeff Stern. Yeah. Jeff Stern. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I've heard, though I don't know it personally, that he has a source, an archive of dreams. No way. No. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of those uh, <clears throat> boxes people push their fingers around. Computer? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Wouldn't it be interesting to plug in, I would like to review all or at least five anagogic dreams. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then Absolutely. you'd have them. What do you what could you do with them? Well you you could uh, you could compare them and see hmm. the similarities. Ah. You could look at the methodology. That's and the methodology. From oh. regular, because that's what we were asking about and I, I don't remember any. Oh, is this uh, records of dream analysis? Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes. Would you agree we need a volunteer to do this? Yes, we do. We do. Are you good at picking volunteers? I am excellent. Go ahead. Yeah. And? All right. <clears throat> and maybe. Oh. <laughs> right? We do maybe it. Those two. I do it. Right. <laughs> Jeff, do you tag dreams with the word anagogic? <laughs> I guess he's I was just wondering that would make it pretty simple. We From this time forth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I do tag dreams. I know, but, I was just um, wondering. Like, if that but I don't uh, subdivide them anymore. Hashtag um, anagogic. Yeah, exactly. And it really would be a great project if someone wanted to go back through uh, them. Well, Josh has one. Who, who, who would you pick on uh, to volunteer it? Mm -hmm. You. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Right back at you. I have a shortcut. <laughs> I got a shortcut. All right, what's the Good. shortcut? What about the one we just had? Is it possible that there's some people around here who themselves may have had dreams that we have discussed and called anagogic? Several. Yes. Do you know, happen to know some of the people? Uh, yeah. And could they be around here? Yeah, I think. Well, then all you'd have to do is what? Throw a coin or something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you want to do a couple anyway, so... Spin. I think every person in this group has. Ooh! <laughs> among them, you mean, among their dreams, there's likely to have been one of these curious things. Yeah. 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 Aren't all dreams anagogic? So kind. since you have that idea, you could go around and ask, right? Could you not? Yep. And collect them? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you've been chosen. You're pretty good at getting volunteers. Do we have a, do we have a volunteer? We do. Notice, hey, it doesn't take any work on your part. That's why you should know it's a good task. How doesn't it take work on my part? Oh. Oh. I mean, I don't have to dream the oh. dreams. Yeah, watch. Mm -hmm. um, say, Barbara, have yeah. you have had dreams? Yeah. Is it possible you may have had one that might have been called an anagogic dream? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> oh, it's in the archive, I think. Yeah, but you, you might be able to recall it or... Oh. Or... Right? Possible? Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Anyone else? But sure, yeah. I had oh, one. I, uh, I remember one. You had one? Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> there we the go! We, just had was we have two already. Oh! oh. Three. <laughs> and Josh volunteered his. That's three. Oh. There we go. There it is. And all, and all, I remembered one myself. Four. 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 There. Five. Wow! Ah, ha, ha. It, had a, it had a church. All right. 
Well, <laughs> I, I have two questions. One is that the reason I think Gina was going to anagogic in the first paragraph was because you mentioned that that high state that um, your father might have been responding to in the six to seven year old scene or in the uh, dislocated shoulder scene um, and the lesson he gave you about not appearing, not seeing yourself as high and mighty. Well, just you said that the earliest stage in the dream, the earliest paragraph, reflected a very high state similar to that, I thought, you said that. Which leads to my question, uh, which is, we, anagogic really means leading upward, right? Mm -hmm. Ago means lead, ana means up, right? So, do we require of an anagogic dream or and or methodology, maybe it's in the methodology and not necessarily in the dream, that it have the function of leading someone up? Mm -hmm. Because definitely dream analysis does. So you're taken back to recollect something in the dream that you didn't see before, right? And so you're, you're guided up to that, to re-experiencing it. Yes? No? So my question <coughs> is, does it, if we want to call the dream anagogic, is it not only by the, the presence of higher states, or the highest states, but that it shows how the person got there? Sure. Or is that a subcategory of sure, but it's very enlightenment possible. dreams? Very, very possible. Could, could, an an, could an anagogic dream also include a statement of how he is progressing in his spiritual direction, given his particular goal for excellence? That'll be just next notation will be which ox herding picture is matched <laughs> by the state of mind, right? That's okay. That's another one. Not just, but it's similar to what you're talking about, right? And why, why I ask that is because was for myself, I would be asking what kinds of activities I've been involved in to come up with, say, something of this paragraph? And would it be some questions I'm having, say, in the Parmenides? Would that be a way of looking at an anagogic dream to have you reflect a you're, you're, you're loading up the question and adding to it All right. a level of, of relating it to a dialogue called Plato's Parmenides. You're, you're adding to it. That's true. I was asking. And, that's why I was <coughs> asking. Because <But coughs> I had that question. You're right. Yeah, but you see, that's a, that, that is such a sub-question. What sort of ad activities lead to an anagogic dream? Oh, simple. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that okay. Yeah, uh, anagogic dream might be recalling <clears throat> to you that you experienced it and passed it off as something else in your daily life, right? So, oh, I, this is still working on my question That's of in good. what way is a dream called an? In what way and for what reason is a dream called anagogic? One might be that it takes you back up to a state you experienced reading or playing video games. I'm a fan. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't have gotten into that. I started to joke. Uh, so it's like a re-experience of something significant that you failed to see in your daily life. Or could, could it just... Mm -hmm. Well, it's like exploring a high state of mind that you got into in your daily life and that you might want to expand on. Yeah. Like this high state of mind may have um, continued or gotten mm. even higher if it wasn't for that block. Mm. So we could say it's anagogic in that sense as well, right? That it um, shows us what what it would take <coughs> to <coughs> continue that state of mind. <coughs> One of the uh, when you're using the word anagogic with dreams, 
that's a special use of the term in midwifery because one of the essential marks of such a dream is that in no way did the dreamer ever suspect there was an enlightenment experience in the dream. Hmm. That's interesting. They never suspected it. It was only through the reflections that they came to see that it was an enlightenment dream. And in the analysis itself, they are brought into the same state and living it in the moment. That's fantastic. <laughs> Three powerful things. Here with that now, there, now, you see, we can look at this dream and say, is it conceivable that there may be something like that hidden in that? Well, uh, remember, in principle, the person doesn't know it. They don't suspect it. Mm. <laughs> yep. And it's only through the analysis that such a thing emerges. Mm. So uh, you'd have to look at this and... Uh, don't suggest, of course, you never suggest its presence. Mm. Otherwise, you're doing it. Mm -hmm. They have to discover They have to it. discover it. So, uh, mm. uh, <clears throat> now, it may be in principle that every dream has such a capacity, or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. using Aristotelian terms, it has that potential. Mm -hmm. But, uh, While I may think that may be the case, there's certain kinds of dreams where it's very difficult because it presupposes, again, that the person is willing to explore it on this more subtle level and go through a reflection such that that thing can be retrieved from the dream that they never knew and could never have guessed was present in it. Going back to that state of mind. Yeah, yeah. Is it uh, worth, cool. if you're the midwife, is it worth at least making that effort, um, at least trying with, with every dream? Uh, to see... <clears throat> <clears throat> well, uh, I always go for the simple. If, there's evi if there, it looks like there's some evidence for it, it's worth trying. But to take the task of trying to demonstrate it in every dream presupposes first that the dreamer has gone through this kind of analysis. And you should then see that <coughs> uh, there's some point in it that might potentially celebrate that moment. saying they need to have a certain level of familiarity with dream analysis? Sure, yeah, yeah. See, like uh, this dream uh, <coughs> is it, really a battle of good versus evil. In, in what sense? Battle. It's a battle. Every struggle on a spiritual level is a battle between good and evil. In that sense, Gnostic. In the sense that each side has to see themselves as good and the other as evil. Or I it's going to, or however that plays itself out. Okay? So, uh, <clears throat>
by the way, Julie, do you still have a copy of last night's dream on your computer somewhere? Um. Can you just email it to me? Yeah, I actually revised it a little this morning, so. Okay. Yeah. Would you send it to me? I'd love to look at the revision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. I, I like to put the text up on the archive, that's all. It's okay. easier to yeah. follow along. Same thing for you, Mr. Mr. J. You've got it from last night. Either an insight or a picture. Thanks. Thank you all. Thank you, Josh. Okay, Josh. Bye. The battle between good and evil is in the second paragraph. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> it would depend upon whether or not the dreamer. See, we've already got a discussion going. And, uh, It'd be nice to know if he could say a few more words about what it was like to taunt and make fun of them. Because that's the high, in terms of the drama, interrelationships, that's the highest moment. Interrelationships, that's usually a doorway. So, uh, <clears throat> I asked that question, and uh, it was only later that we could infer a state of mind from it. <coughs> so I decided it's best not to push any further. But that would be a, a way to see whether or not that might open it up, because it has the dynamics that's possible. Like it looks like it could be a coming out, for example. Yeah. Because it, yeah, because it is a coming out. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Against a big authority. Mm -hmm. Against a what? Big authority. No. <laughs> Major. It has, in other words, it has <clears throat> higher levels mm. implicit in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we need for an mm. entry into the Anagogy. Mm. Interesting. So. But, in, but it depends upon, again, the individual being able to go through recovery, you know, recovering. Yeah. Well, just to play on that theme, Pierre, taking Julie's dream last night, um, we saw that she was coming out at that moment, but you also put it in terms of UCI and Buddhism, like she's, a, she's doing something in terms of a higher level that is not just addressing an individual and coming out, but it, would that be something of, of sorts of, of what you're talking about? Sure. So what would it mean to her to be able to, or, or what's it saying to her about her being able to challenge that in a, a way at UCI. The critical point in that dream uh -huh. was when she was uh, exploring what it was like when someone looked upon what she has been saying and doing in the highest terms. Mm. That awakened a state of mind in her that she could recognize was present in her life that had uh, what we might call uh, uh, tragic underpinnings that go back through her life. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to go there for this. Right. Mm -hmm. You want to go, if the dreamer can do it, 
What was it like when they complimented you at that moment? Uh, uh. Right. She brought in the history of that event that was all negative right. that she could then look at. Mm. But that's the consequence uh. of that state, not the state itself. So to explore that for possible depth, you would have to separate the two. But the individual may be so involved in that negative side of it that that's what you just have to explore because that's the urgent urgency of the dream. So if, if it were possible, <coughs> say, do, do you know, Julie? Uh, Hoygaard, I think it was her name. Do you remember her? Yeah. Is it possible you were present at a dream work last night? No. Oh! Ah, are you familiar with that part in the dream where you were astonished at the reaction that someone had? I mean, that was in the dream, so, but just that I was able to uh, counter that with other statements That's true. based on what I saw from him, that he was not, in fact, offended, and that it was not personal, it was meaningful, and it was okay. Not, not only was it okay, yeah. but you put it in certain terms. Do you remember that? Well... I used the word appreciate. Yeah, appreciated it. Yeah, appreciated it. Yeah. yeah, and it was important. And it was <coughs> what was it like at that moment when you saw he appreciated it? Well, it was. Um, Not the consequences. No, no, it was. I felt <coughs> grounded. I felt solid. I felt that it was okay. I didn't have to feel guilty or bad or. Um, I felt. It was a, there was a clarity about it. I, I don't know the term. Um, there wasn't any noise. There wasn't any... I didn't have any vision of people looking at me, wondering, what are you doing? Yeah, but see, that's negative. That, mm -hmm. that, I thought that's nice if you can help me understand it. What was it like? It, it seemed oh, just all good. <laughs> Let me help you. Uh, it was boring. No, it wasn't boring. Oh, well, what? At, at least it was dull. No. Well, what? Help me. It was... Actually, when I saw him, I said, oh, welcome. What was that like? To see you. I felt really positive. Uh, I don't know what positive and means. That's the other side of electricity. You know, I was glad this was the guy who was supposed to maybe kill himself. And here he was. And I was like, oh, great. I'm so glad to see you. What's that moment like? <laughs> um, <coughs> it was... Spontaneous? Nah, sure. By the way, is it possible that uh, you've been in that kind of state before? Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, when? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I 
question because I'm not in that state often. Uh, I like that. But, but when? Uh, what? <clears throat> I mean, it just felt like my feelings were matching my words. My words were reflecting. Yeah, my that's true. I and asked I didn't you. Think about it. It just was spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, have you ever done any sitting? Yeah. No shit. Is that boring? No. What's it like when you're in a good one? It's like a discovery. Uh, how is it similar or dissimilar to that thing you're just now describing? Um, like, yes, yeah, similar. Yeah. It's like it. Yeah. Oh, because it's, it's a lot. A lot of features about it are unlike. Or is it just like it in a little way? No. Uh, if you were to rank it in respect to your best meditation, where would you put it? Yeah, it was, it was there. I don't know what the hell that means there. Yeah, I, was, I was spontaneous and coming out, and my thoughts and words were just one. And you mean similar to your better States of meditation? Yeah. Oh. Uh, among the better or the best? I don't know. I, I guess I have trouble with you calling it meditation. Well, I don't know. I just wondered whether you had some experiences in the past, so I asked that question. So. I would call it more like a state of being or something where I'm unified. I mean, I'm just... I'm just there. Oh, unified and there. <clears throat> with spontaneous. myself and with him. And, and with yourself and, and with everything. Situation. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Don't it's you think it's fair? Don't you think it's fair for me to ask whether or not you experienced anything like that in your whole life? Yeah, okay. That's fair. Uh, when? When you're <laughs> shooting pool? No, I wish. <laughs> when? Um, bowling. I've done the bowling. I got six strikes in a row. Oh. It's kind of like being in the zone. Oh. 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 By the way, in your history of Buddhism, yeah. did you ever experience those states in Buddhism? Yeah. Oh. If a Roshi were to know about it, how would they judge it? Why are you reluctant to answer that question? I never had any luck with Roshis judging my... Thank you. <laughs> then you can judge it, even though those around you weren't able. Yeah. Go ahead. You Judging can, it myself. Yeah, you can it judge. Was, um, it was a beautiful state. Yeah, among the beautiful states you've experienced, I go back to the same question. Where would you put it? Yeah. It's, I mean, it was a really high state. I've, I've had no, it's states raising. like that under the influence of major drugs. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, this, was, this was just a dream, man. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. A lot cheaper, man. Right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you could get in that right now. Yeah, yeah. You'd appreciate I, I mean, it? Yeah. Treasure it? Reminding my remembering stuff. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. now you're doing better. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I get to... See, we're pulling out, out the anagogic side of that train. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it had to go through these difficulties for uh -huh. her to see it. Uh -huh. right? So that would be that would be exploring a dream on an anagogic level. Did you know, by the way, yesterday when you went over this dream, that you had that state of mind in it? Well, not to the degree that I do now. What made it different? 
actually just now remembering past scenes for it. Yeah. I was as unified. Yeah. Yeah. So recollecting the process of recollecting revises right. the state and you're now in it. Yeah. So that would be the way to explore. Uh, and also you're asking me to judge that state. Yeah, that, that, that was something, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell with roaches. Right. And by the way, when I, when I re, re, um, did the green this morning, you know, last night I said that I kind of took a circuitous route from the bathroom to avoid the, the Buddhist teacher. No, I didn't. I came out of the bathroom and he was all the way at the end of the hall looking out the window. All right. So I didn't avoid him. I saw he was very far away and not about to come my way. So that's why I just waved. Mm. Right. Okay. Rather nice. Yeah. Would that, Pierre, would that be what we just went through accessing then? Would that, is that, is this an example of accessing then? I don't know. What would you call it? Well, I, I was sitting here thinking, yeah, that's accessing the higher state. Well, then why did you ask a question when you had the answer? Well, because when we get into those higher states, I have questions about whether I can But that get didn't there. answer why you had to ask a question when you had the answer. Why? Because I question what I was seeing. Well, why do you question what you see, since you see it very clearly? Good question. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now that you see that you see that. <laughs> you know, I could be mistaken, but I perceive a glow in Regina and a, I almost want to say a, um, interac interaction with others that I, I have not seen in her before. Mm. Of the hat. I thought it was the hospital. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was a great hair coloring job. It looks really beautiful. I thought your perception has improved, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, no. Good Jesus. comment. I have a mark. Okay. Nothing's changed about you, Gina. Don't worry. Thank you. Fun. Fun. Fun.